So what are three to five tangible tips you can give to somebody with no business experience who wants to build a product on top of their NFT? Yeah, so I always say trade assets. And what I mean by that is everybody's good at something, right? So everybody has something that they do well. And I I trade that in exchange for the skill set of what they do well. So, you know, nobody just wants to be bombarded with questions on how to do things. I mean, they'll help a little while, but they're not going to continue to help build your business for free for nothing. And that's where exchanging of ideas and building true relationships. And just like, you know, with your partner, it's a give and take. And so with the community, it's a give and take. You can't just take from the community all the time. You got to give. So once you establish that, that you're also a giver, people are more inclined to help you out. And then as far as I, you know, as far as IP, um, it's, and I've said this before, it's okay to change up your, your piece a little bit. You want to be careful that you don't change it to match somebody else who owns an asset. But there are perhaps some qualities in your IP that don't sell. Like original piece that was my PFP was a blue ape and he had a this hat type on and he had a, a joint which I changed to a piece of grass and I had him put running shoes on him. And I called him Sean, jokingly instead of Shane, I called him Sean. And he was just cool and fun. It wasn't the original one, but you could tell that it was an ape and it just it had a different feel. And then when people saw that, Humble, uh, a publicly traded company, reached out and said, I love the look of that ape. We would love him to use him in our marketing. So I sold them to him. But so taking your IP and just adjusting it a little bit to make it more uh, marketable is something that I, I think you can do as well. The thing that I would say is it's okay to spend a certain amount of money, but you have to be careful. If you're going to spend $100,000 on something you're going to use as IP, sometimes it becomes more valuable than the company itself. So I'd say watch the limits of what you spend when you put an IP into it. Apes looking for a cheaper IP to me makes a little bit more sense business-wise because that goes to with the company, in my opinion. I guess conceivably you could license it out and keep it. But my feeling is if somebody has a big product based on your IP, they're going to want that IP or they're going to want the actual asset as well.